Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Knight. I am the America's Secretary for IMCP and I'd like to thank you all for joining us today for our webinar, which is IMCP's Welcome to Inspire with Sergio Batista, IMCP International President and Cheryl Salazar, our IMCP Inspire Chair. Um, during the presentation, obviously, uh, we aren't we are live and um, we do have a chat panel Q and a panel. Uh, if you do have questions during the presentation, we ask that you do put those uh, questions in the chat panel. At the end of the presentation, we will open it up for Q and a at that point. And at the end of the presentation again, um, we're going we're about a half an hour, I think today. Um, if there are any additional questions, we will answer those individually if we run out of time. So with that, I'm going to tur turn things over to Sergio. All right, thank you, Cindy. Um, hello and uh, welcome everyone to Digital Inspire. Uh, I know that this year things will not be the same. We should all be in Las Vegas having a, a little bit of fun on the side, but that will just uh, not be possible this year, although here in uh, in Lisbon, where I am, uh, it's almost 40 degrees, so I, I get a, bit, a little bit of the feeling of uh, Las Vegas. Still, this is, a, this is a very important week for us, nonetheless, and uh, I will be acting as if I was physically present uh, in, uh, in the conference. I'm not giving in to the temptation to schedule um, meetings uh, between Inspire sessions. Uh, we are here today welcoming IMCP partners, but also reminding a couple of things that we believe you should remember. Uh, and uh, please take advantage of the fact that uh, Cheryl, our Inspire lead, is here and I am here. So you can just uh, drop us a message uh, whenever you want. Um, in uh, And we will try to cover that a little bit later today. So our, our agenda for today will cover the basics for, um, for IMCP. Uh, um, we will talk a little bit about uh, um, our motto uh, for Inspire this year, what happens at Inspire continues at IMCP. So it's a, a little bit uh, reminiscing of, of, of the Vegas, what happens in Vegas. Um, I will also uh, share with you uh, my, my personal Inspire. So I'm going to share with you my agenda, what I'm what I'm about to do, uh, the things I've uh, done when I planned for this um, for this conference, and uh, we will also take some time in the end to you know sh to to go through some of the tools and smart tips from Cheryl around the digital conference and uh, how to go about with the tools that uh, we have available and make the most of it. But um, before I go into that, uh, I wanted to share with you something I realized uh, when I was you know, preparing for Inspire this year, something that popped up as a memory in my Facebook page um, from two years ago. I, I posted a picture by then. Uh, it was a picture of my, my smartwatch counting 25,000 steps in one day in Vegas. And I realized that this year, instead of you know moving and walking and sometimes running into places, people will be quietly sitting on their uh, monitors, behind their monitors. And that, that reminded me of this advice I got from my chiropractor, uh, which I'm calling a little bit boldly the best advice I ever got, but it's a good advice. He said to me, your posture is your attitude, Sergio. So I'm not gonna let my digital uh, conference beat my attitude and I will stand up for the rest of this session. Um, let's call this my analogy for the things I believe we need to do in the next couple of days. So bear with me while I still fix my, my screen here. So the analogy here is, uh, please don't wait for the value to be delivered at your uh, laptop screen. You need to find the people who matter the most to the business uh, that you run. You must use the tools, schedule the meetings, uh, find the people and get your questions answered. So stand up and instead of sitting down, and uh, with that, I hope my team's background from IMCP doesn't ruin this analogy by making me dissolve here uh, on the air. Um, next thing is um, about, um, about IMCP. Uh, let's do a, a little recap on IMCP. Most of you are members already. Uh, some of you are, are just trying to find out what this association can do for you. So I'll just go through um, a brief explanation about IMCP. IMCP is the largest independent Microsoft partner association. 
And uh, we have organized ourselves in regions. So we have Americas, we have uh, EMEA and APEC. And uh, under those regions, we have um, uh, the chapters who, who I used to say that um, the chapters are where all the action occurs. And uh, we currently are present in most of the countries worldwide. Uh, in the event that we are not present in your country, please note that we have a strong commitment to not only grow the existing chapters, but also to expand to new uh, geos and open more, more chapters. And uh, we have uh, recent evidence of that when we opened the Greater China uh, chapter, but also New Zealand uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, uh, I know that we are in the process of, uh, of getting Brazil on board. So the idea is to, you know, to be present wherever there is a, a Microsoft partner community. And these chapters, they act as the network where connections are made. So IMCP is, is a network of businesses and our aim is to help these businesses uh, succeed by providing you know, connections worldwide that you can leverage to go international or just access to programs uh, you cannot miss as a partner or Microsoft executives uh, so that you can learn from their advice or their insight on a certain uh, topic. Um, we also provide education on the best practices, uh, the practices of those who have made it, who have been successful already, who have grown already, because in the end, that's, that's what we are all uh, uh, aiming at. Now, um, moving on to the next slide. Um, that is why our, our, our motto uh, this year is uh, what happens at Inspire continues at IMCP. So Inspire marks the beginning of, of fiscal for Microsoft. Uh, we will be um, from tomorrow onwards uh, listening to priorities for 2021, new programs that will shape again the way the partner ecosystem will have to adapt. And uh, at IMCP, we will continue these conversations throughout the year. So in the first uh, place is the, the local chapters with the local communities and the Microsoft uh, subs. At the regional level, monitoring, making sure that uh, the members get uh, the information they need in advance. And in the international level, coordinating with Microsoft uh, Corp. So just like we did this year, if you remember uh, the beginning of fiscal 20, we, we just saw a, a channel booming, uh, facing unbelievable growth. And then the more we came to the end, uh, uncertainty and doubt took over. And uh, uh, our discussion with, with Microsoft was about the needed measures for partners to get back on their uh, performance track. So this is, um, this is the role we play throughout the year. Um, I'm also sharing with you what my Inspire will look like this year. Um, so this is, this is going to get pretty personal now. I, I, here are the three things I will be doing. So firsthand, I will have my, I, my agenda complete. I, uh, you can see it on the right side with all the sessions I will be attending. And this is very important. Don't start Inspire without uh, making sure that, um, that um, your agenda is, is ready. You're going to get lost uh, if, you, if you do that. So the first thing I'm, I'm, I'm going to attend, of course, are the core nodes. These are the uh, obvious choices. Um, these will be where the big announcements take place and um, the more strategic messages are delivered. So I'm, I'm, I'm not missing any of that. Um, the second thing I will, um, I will be attending are sessions, I call it all things dynamics because that relates to my own business. So I will be looking at the business application strategy, the best practices. Uh, I will be taking part in the conversations that will occur that are very private and you will have Microsoft people uh, that you can uh, talk to. And finally, I will be attending our uh, 11 IMCP sessions. So we have 11 sessions uh, delivered by IMCP leaders from all over the world on P2P, diversity and inclusion. Um, let me just maybe highlight some of them for you. Uh, and uh, please remember, all our sessions will be on Wednesday. So uh, one session I will not want to miss is, is Klaus, uh, Michiel and Sven. They will discuss um, you know, real world responses uh, in Germany and Spain, um, where we IMCP as a community deliver the response to organizations that were presented with this new, you know, 
go digital uh, challenges uh, through um, COVID-19. So their session is is, is called um, sorry here. Um, their session um, is um, I think it's called driving digital change in COVID-19. Uh, you can search for it on the on the session list, and I think this is one you don't uh, you don't want to miss. Another one that you don't want to miss probably is, is is Eddie Sandy, who's here today with us. Manish and, and David will show you how we are using Teams internally to run the entire IMCP organization. And believe me, I know that we are a you know a case study for complexity with meetings and webinars and chapter meetings occurring almost uh, every day somewhere in the world. So if you're looking to learn about Teams, um, you just make sure you put that on your agenda because it will be it will be an awesome session. Um, I, I I also remember that. Um, we have Ryan and Frank and uh, Phil and Krista who will discuss uh, how being caught doing the right thing is always good for businesses and leadership. This is a, sec a session about uh, advocacy uh, and uh, topics that, uh, that affect the whole society. Um, we will also have uh, a number of sessions uh, that address uh, minorities and minority-owned businesses. Uh, I know Sarika, our DNI lead, will host three sessions on diversity and inclusion, together with uh, Lanny Phillips from Microsoft, Pam, uh, Elena, Randy, Frank, and uh, many more people. And I, I know I'm missing some sessions and mentions here. Uh, my apologies for that, but it's it's just a very extensive agenda we've prepared for this year. I just remember we have a session with Eddie and Ulysses. Uh, and uh, John Zaray as well um, on P2P. So there's a lot going on. Um, I also uh, pick uh, one or two energizing sessions on marketing and sales or, you know, some simply topics that I'm uh, um, interested about. And this year I'm, I'm picking up one session that I don't want to miss. It's, it's called Speak Truth to Power. And, uh, and the speaker is, um, is Luvi Jones, an author that um, addresses the need to support what she calls truth tellers in in organizations as a means to you know to reap the benefits of having diverse viewpoints and across uh, everything we we do and i'm really looking forward to that um now the second thing i i'm i, I did already um is a list of people i want to meet you can use the you, you can see the on the on the left screen you can use the tools and uh, i think cheryl will will show you how to do that in a couple of minutes um, to you know, to schedule meetings with prospective partners, to whom I believe uh, I can add value, or from whom I believe I can get value from. So this is um, something that um, I used to do in the connection zone in in Las Vegas, and um, and um, I'm I'm uh, looking forward also to replicate in the digital um, tools that we have on the conference this. Um, this year. And of course, um, last but not least, um, there is something that I always take the time at Inspire to do, and that is to greet old friends uh, with whom I've created this tradition of being together at least once once um, a, a year uh, at Inspire. So I'm, I'm still going to do that. Now, having said this, I, I do encourage you to be as physical as you can in this digital Inspire and um, remember adopt a stand-up attitude because that is the DNA of, um, of IAMCP. Um, I will remain here for uh, any questions that you may have, but uh, for now, I'm going to hand over to Cheryl for a section on how to get the most of, of Inspire this year. So Cheryl, you wanna take over for me? I, well, I'm happy to do that, Sergio. So um, thank you for the introduction. And just um, a little refresher for those of you who were not able to make our uh, Know Before You Go session last week. I'm just going to cover off on a few things. And then once I am done, we will open up for some questions should you have them. And um, you could even start doing that in the chat panel right now. So one of the first things I encourage you to do is um, your profile. And why your profile is important if you recall Sergio's uh, slide on the left, he had a list of people with whom he wanted to meet. Um, the other thing that, um, that I want to stress for you is 
if you are looking to connect with somebody specifically, um, for example, you might be seeking to reach out to other Azure partners or Dy Dynamics partners, and this is very slow, so I can't show you. Um, the content of your profile is going to be extremely important. So based on what you're putting in your job title and your biography is how you're going to show up in the attendee networking session. So that is a, a critical piece for you. But what I really want to do right now is walk you through the connection zone so you're very clear on the difference uh, between these various elements. So what Microsoft have tried to replicate digitally is this attendee networking experience. So this is where typically you would come to the booth and there would be an area um, where you could connect with people you know or uh, seeking new connections. Um, and this is where you would search for that Azure partner or IMCP, um, you know, if you're seeking to connect with other partners through IMCP around the world. Um, on the right hand side, you can set up a meeting with up to nine individuals. Um, and then what the tool will do as people accept or decline, I guess they can decline the meeting, but should they accept your meeting, um, you will then get a Teams link from Microsoft and you'll be able to host your meeting in this forum using Teams. Um, and so in this particular piece, you connect, can connect with other partners, but you can also connect with Microsoft employees. So if you've really been looking to find somebody in this case who is a specialist in Azure, this is the place for you to go to find that connection over at Microsoft. The next uh, section I'd, I want to cover is this Ask the Expert session. So these are um, opportunities for you to connect with uh, subject matter experts on the product side uh, or with Microsoft. These are not PowerPoint sessions. They might be a brief intro. These will be anonymous, so partners will not be able to see other partners. Um, you might not even see the Microsoft person, um, depending on who the presentation is, uh, the presenter is. But in these sessions, you'll be able to ask questions. So these are moderated Q&A sessions, um, and you'll be able to get the answers to the questions that you have. So um, this is um, partner to Microsoft and P2P as well. Um, if we look at the partner conversation, so these are small, um, designed to be more intimate P2P sessions. Microsoft employees are not allowed to sign up for these sessions. So these are purely partner to partner, uh, but they are moderated by Microsoft to ensure that the conversation stays on track. Um, the other thing you need to know about all of these sessions is if there is a member or um, I wouldn't say a member of IMCP, more a partner or a, an individual who's being disruptive, um, there is the ability to kick that person out of the session and they will not be allowed back. So um, there's a Microsoft moderator on all of these P2P uh, conversations. Um, there's the fun and wellness. So if you're really having a digital burnout, um, you can during the day go and do a bit of yoga. Um, you know, you can, I think, do um, some animal visits, digital petting, I guess <laughs> we could call it that. Um, or you could watch people paint if you just need a, a little break from um, all the other programming that's going on. The community sessions is where our sessions are being hosted along with uh, uh, VFI Voices for Innovation, Women in Cloud and Women in Tech. Um, and so encourage you to search through these um, sessions if you want to hear from other IMCP subject matter experts. Um, the thing you need to know about these sessions are there uh, several different topics. The first one will be live and then it will be available for a recorded viewing afterwards. And then for those of you who are in location, uh, locations around the world geographically separated from each other, I encourage you to attend the sessions for your geography because in these general sessions, you'll really be able to understand what the directives are for you locally. Um, and so 
you know, you'll see people here that you recognize who are the Microsoft leaders in your area. So um, that is the other piece that you need to know. Now, before I uh, open up the floor for question and answers, what I want to leave up on the screen is the code of conduct. So we as IMCP um, have our code of conduct, but you all need to be aware of the Microsoft code of conduct um, and everything around Inspire uh, being the type of platform that we're on. Uh, Microsoft will be really keeping an eye on, you know, are people really following um, the code of conduct here? So I'm going to leave that up on the screen. And uh, Sandy, if we have any questions that we need to take, we are now open for uh, Q&A. Great, thanks Cheryl. Um, if anybody does have any questions, please put them in the Q&A panel now and we will address those with both uh, Cheryl and Sergio. Um, I know one of the questions that, that came in was social media and how to, um, what did it say? How to um, tag IMCP in any of their social media posts. Do you want me to take that, Cheryl? Yes, please, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I can take that. Um, yes, uh, during Inspire, when you're um, attending any of the events, please use the hashtag IAMCP, and that way, um, hopefully, we'll get some uh, trending going on Twitter. Um, also, for Inspire, it's hashtag MSInspire, and um, of course, for Partner, it's hashtag MSPartner. Um, so use those hashtags whenever you are um, out there uh, promoting any of the happenings that inspire for us. Um, and I, I have a, an additional um, snippet of information I'd like to share. So this came up last week in the note before you go. We didn't get a chance to answer it. Uh, we were asked whether there was a mobile app this year for Inspire. There is not. So um, don't expect to try to navigate your day using the mobile app. Um, and then I see there's a question from Bob Marsh, my old friend, Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, uh, he's asking um, whether the dynamic CRM can be applied for use in COVID contact tracing. Any IMCP is working on this kind of solution already. Um, so, Bob, I can't answer your question now, but we can take it offline. Uh, what I want to tell this team is um, the IMCP MIST team is looking at these sessions to see which of the topics are oversubscribed. Uh, we are going to be launching a series of quarterly briefings starting in September, and we're going to looking at taking some of those really popular topics and the question uh, that you had, Bob, and running programming through the years. So that really maps to the motto, what happens at Inspire continues at IMCP. So look out for those announcements as we head into um, at, uh, the autumn, at least here in, in the US. Yeah. Great, thanks Cheryl. Um, I Sorry, Cheryl, can I, can I add to that um, just uh, yes. quickly? So um, there's been a lot of uh, initiatives around the uh, IMCP partners um, regarding COVID-19. At a certain point we were having uh, um, weekly calls with uh, Microsoft to go over the, the COVID-19 uh, response from Microsoft. And we were also collecting those uh, those stories from uh, from the, the membership. Um, I don't recall if we had one specific with CRM, uh, but we had spectacular uh, initiatives uh, from all areas, from teams and I don't know, uh, uh, a lot of uh, initiatives and actually one of the sessions that we are hosting in Inspire is about two of these initiatives. So um, if you are particularly interested in this, Bob, um, maybe you should um, you should also register for this session uh, with, with Klaus, Michiel and Sven, where they will discuss uh, two of these projects, one in Germany with uh, teams for schools and, and, and universities and another one more structured with Microsoft in uh, in Spain uh, to help um, SMB uh, companies, you know, to go digital and, and use Teams as much as they could. And yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to, <laughs> to add to this. Great, thanks Sergio. Let's see. Um, Cheryl, somebody put um, in the chat panel, be on the lookout for Gabriela's message about IAMCP. 
Do you want to make mention of that? Um, yes, I believe that will happen tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is the big day when everything kicks off. So um, Gabriella reached out to our organization. Um, she would like to say something, you know, about the value of the IMCP as an organization, both to Microsoft and to each other. So be on the lookout tomorrow for that call out. Great. All right. I don't see any other questions. Um, I myself would like to call out the fact that on Friday, uh, the 24th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we are going to have a wrap up and key takeaways, and that is going to be hosted by Sergio along with all the regional um, presidents. So please uh, sign up for that. Um, in the chat panel, I did put a link for that. Um, so if you can, please put that on your calendar. Uh, they'll be pulling together all of, all of the information, the vast information that will be uh, collected during Inspire and, and give the uh, community their key takeaways. Um, so it should be a great session. Um, with that, I don't see any more questions here. So I think um, we can close for the day. Um, Cheryl, uh, Sergio, any last last minute thoughts? Well, just um, have a great digital inspire, a great digital experience, um, and uh, see you back on Friday for the key takeaways and um, have fun this this week. Great, thanks, Sergio. Thanks, Cheryl. Um, everybody, have a great inspire this week, and we look forward to uh, reconnecting on Friday. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy.